Hello and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program Adventures stuff thing, whatever it's called. Um, last time, if you remember, we did that short little flight that went nowhere, and we unlocked this. So now we have a FLT-400 fuel tank, an FLT-100 fuel tank, a mystery goo containment unit. And a TRA or TR 1 188 stack decoupler. So now we didn't make it very far last time. So, if possible, we're going to try and make it a little further. So, um, let's click new and we'll put this here and then we um, need some propulsion so we'll actually we will put a utility parachute and then uh, we'll put some mystery goo containers on it so that way we can get some science points and then this versatile lightweight antenna suitable for moderate range communication and long range back communication eavesdropping on secret government operations I don't think we need that right now uh, let's put a decoupler there and then we need some propulsion so let's put like one of these and then a decoupler and then three of these and then a rocket and then let's go for a decoupler and then let's go for a solid fuel booster and then structural, we'll put three of these on, I think. Well, actually, let's go four. Right there. And then propulsion. Four. Oopsies. I want this. Four of these. Oh, gosh. It's not centered the way it should be. Right there. Does that look good? Yeah, good enough. Okay, then I think that's everything. So first we have these three decouple, then this launches, then decouple, then this launches, then decouple, and then the parachute. Okie dokie then. So let's call this the um, Corbett Mark 1. The first ship to space. Hopefully. Uh, oh, also I got a new mission flag that I made. It's the I made this. It's a J Money one. Um, you can see it in the background right there. Just my logo with some stuff. So let's click save, and then we will go to the launch pad. Okay, so now we are ready to launch, and we'll launch in five. Oh, by the way, I did do the tutorials and stuff, so I do know how to fly now. Space is to control the stages, and WASD to move, Q and E to roll, and Shift and Control to adjust throttle, and X is to stop. But these are solid rockets, so, or solid fuel, so we don't get control over them. So, we will launch in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off! Um, now, one thing about these is they're very, very noisy. and it makes it hard to hear. 
and so I don't know if I'm yelling at you or not, but if I am, I do apologize, because they're very loud. And these do overheat, but they run out of fuel first before they overheat, so you don't really have to worry about that. So, we can dump those now, and then we can resume with this. And then let's go this way. Oopsies. Oh gosh. This way. And then let's lock it in with SAS. SAS basically just controls your thing so it doesn't you don't have to do the steering it'll do it for you so now let's see how we're doing here now if possible I'd like to get into the orbit of get into an orbit around earth so in order to do that let's stop that for a sec so that way we have some time to add maneuver in 20 seconds So there we go, that's just barely enough. So if we go back here and aim at the blue dot, we were supposed to burn three seconds ago. Oh gosh. So let's lock it in with SAS and burn for one minute and 27 seconds. Oh, wrong way. I'm just going to adjust this slightly. Lock it in. Oh gosh, we're re-entering Earth's atmosphere. That's not good. Pull up. Oh no. Well, we aren't exactly making it too far. Let's just try and hold that there. I don't think we'll make it into orbit this time. Okie dokie then. So, that appears to be that. We didn't quite make it into orbit, and um, it appears as though we're going to land in the middle of the ocean. Let's take a goo sample. Google jiggles and wobbles as a craft flies for um, seven science. Keep the data. Uh, let's take a crew report. Uh, crew's assessment of the situation. That's 3.5 science. We'll keep that data. And um, now we want to disconnect. So now we just have the parachute left. Yeah, we're going to land right here in the middle of the ocean. Hopefully this thing floats. We could probably get rid of this because it's not going to happen. If we can make it to that island, maybe. Because then we could collect some samples and stuff. Uh, let's take another goo sample. Whoa, this thing moves a lot quickly. It still wobbles and jiggles as it flies so now then 7,000, 6,000 feet and descending put 
this right on that marker there. Uh, let's deploy the parachutes. Because I get the feeling like we're through the burning up part of the atmosphere. And hopefully this deploys soon. Yes, there we go. What was that? Oh, I think the other thing just hit down in the in the water, the tail part. So let's fast forward a little. Oh, don't show that again. Okay. Um, which I figured out what it is. Uh, the controls for it are the arrow keys, the period and the comma next to the M. It's like windy here. Because we're blowing back and forth. Hooray! We've done it! So now, let's go back to the... Your, oh, um, we need to click X to throttle down. Or escape, and then click X, and then go back to the Space Center. And let's retrieve that flight. Oh, whoopsies, wrong button. We can do it here anyways. Recover vessel. So we got 33 signs from that um, crew report, mystery goo, and a recovery of a vessel is 0.8. So, or no, we got 12.9 signs. So that gave us 33. So, uh, if we go here, we can now unlock this is 20 oh I thought I selected that for a sec that's 18 so this gives us a liquid fuel engine a separatron what is that a small canister filled with what appears to be oh uh, this pushes you away if when you separate in space um, and a fuel booster solid fuel Otherwise we can get this, which has a nose cone, a winglet, and a radial decoupler. Or this, which is liquid fuel engine, landing struts, and parachutes. So we have 33 science, and that's 15, and that's 18. Well actually, we could get these two, I suppose. 33 and 18, yeah, or 18 and 15 is 33 exactly, I think. So let's go ahead and do that. Well, oopsies. We'll buy that for 15. And then we have 18, so we'll get that for 18. And that makes it so that way we can unlock. Next time we can unlock general construction, which are some decouplers, uh, flight control, which is more stuff, and science, which is a rechargeable battery pack a science junior which will help us get more science points and a comms DTS M1 is a fully deployable communications and data transmit system and has been designed to have minimal form factor when stowed occasional antenna tweaking and sh swift kicks to the main assembly may be required for optimal performance so maybe next time we'll unlock this so that we have some more rockets to use too but, uh, so I think that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.